The Amazon jungle boasts an astonishing 390 billion trees and is filled with tales of giant snakes, exotic animals, indigenous tribes, and mysterious rivers. These intriguing stories have sparked numerous scientific investigations. Recently, a drone's revelation about the forest prompted the US government to close down the jungle. What secrets were uncovered in the forest? Join us as we uncover the Amazon's most significant mysteries captured by the drone before the US government's shutdown. A tribe that gets power from anacondas. There are incredible stories about this jungle, such as the story about a giant snake that sounds unreal. But first, let's dive into the story of Waurani warriors, a group so strong in their legends that they believe that giant anacondas are the source of their power. They view the modern world with both contempt and pity, as if their lives, intimately connected to nature and massive snakes, are the ultimate human achievement. The Huarani, Warani, or Waudani, also known as the Waus, are an indigenous people from the Amazonian region of Ecuador, Napo, Orellana, and Pastaza provinces, who have marked differences from other ethnic groups from Ecuador. The alternate name Auca is a pejorative exonym used by the neighboring Quechua natives and commonly adopted by Spanish speakers as well. Auca or Auca in Quechua means savage. They comprise almost 4,000 inhabitants and speak the Huarani language, a linguistic isolate that is not known to be related to any other language. Their ancestral lands are located between the Curarai and Napo rivers, about 50 miles and 80 kilometers south of El Coca. This homeland is approximately 120 miles and 190 kilometers wide and 75 to 100 miles, which is from 120 to 160 kilometers from north to south. They are threatened by oil exploration and illegal logging practices. In the past, Huarani was able to protect their culture and lands from both indigenous enemies and settlers by force of arms. In the last 40 years, they have shifted from a hunting and gathering society to living mostly in permanent forest settlements. As many as five communities, the Tagairi, the Huinatare, the Onamanane, and two groups of the Taramanane, have rejected all contact with the outside world and continue to move into more isolated areas. As if the jungle wasn't full of mystery and drama enough, it has become a global sensation with local celebrities claiming to have conquered the largest area. The snakes are the typical ones found in gardens or yards. This snake is said to have been a whopping 10 meters long. Anacondas are known for their size and ability to scare people. But this particular record reportedly broke all records, weighing in at a whopping 880 pounds and measuring a meter long. This revelation is quite headline-worthy news about giant snakes. These jungle stories are so extraordinary and exaggerated that one almost dares to question whether such giant creatures exist or are more likely to be suspicious of the exaggerated stories the locals might tell of excitement or fame. South American researchers producing a new webcast video series have announced that they have discovered a previously undocumented species of anaconda that can grow to more than 20 meters in length. A team led by a professor at the University of Queensland in Australia said they studied several samples. While deep in the Amazon rainforest, giant anacondas were found slithering along the river system to await their prey. Professor Brian Fry said in a statement that our team received a rare invitation from the Warani to survey the area and collect samples of the anaconda population said to be the largest in existence. During the 10-day expedition, the group encountered what is now known as a northern green anaconda, which was 20 feet long. The Warren people have anecdotal reports of other anacondas in the area, exceeding 7.5 meters and 24 feet in length, and weighing about 500 kilograms and 1,100 pounds. Although the snake may be large in comparison to their counterparts, the Southeast Asian pythons give the snake a run for its money. Logically, some pythons have reached lengths of at least 28 feet, but weigh considerably less than northern green anacondas. Professor Fry notes that the discovery of a new species of anaconda is exciting, but it is important to highlight the urgent need to continue researching these endangered species and ecosystems. Another discovery is the infamous Boiling River, whose name is both simple and disturbing. Imagine a river so hot 
that it always boils like strange water covered by natural waters. It's not just a hot stream, it's a deadly wide and deep stream of water that boils at a whopping 210 degrees. If the morning coffee is too hot to drink without blowing, then imagine the heat intensifying to a level that could burn you with one quick touch. In the high forests where the Ashaninka people live, there is a burning river that they believe heats a giant snake called Yakumama, which is supposed to heat the sun, to give geothermal energy, and is deadly to anything that hits it. The place feels unreal, or like a discovery of a real fantasy world with heat and mythical creatures in the mist. And then there are walking trees, the forest is their equivalent. They are known as Socratea exoriza, or walking palms. These trees are far from ordinary. They have ambitions as they move through the forest in search of sunlight. As slow and determined travelers that grow up to 25 meters tall, these trees stand out with their unique taproots that have baffled scientists. One is curious as to how they move. The fact is that they bow to the light and slowly stretch out to the sun, taking years to dance. It is a slow forest ballet that shows either the patience of nature or the sense of humor. But the oddities don't end with their search for sunlight. These trees also have a more practical use for the locals as kitchen tools. In a surprising twist, the bark of the palms is used as a cheese grater. Rainforest guides have been telling the walking palm's tale for many years. John H. Bodley made the initial scientific suggestion for it in 1980. Dr. Bodley stated in a journal published by the Association for Tropical Biology and Conservation that if a seedling is knocked over by another tree, the palm will use its roots to walk away from the germination point. In this manner, the tree can avoid impediments that pose serious risks to young palms. From boiling rivers to walking trees, these oddities of nature make us wonder, either in excitement or shaking our heads in suspicion, at the endless oddities that nature or nature has to offer. What else does this jungle have to offer? The spider known as a bird eater, the secrets of the jungle and the giants of the oceans await you in the center of nature, where we enter the not-so-delightful but certainly huge world of huge bird-eaters. This creature takes the position of one of the heaviest spiders, tipping the scales at an impressive 170 grams. This spider is more than the sum of the spider world. Despite all this slaughter and threats, he is called the bird-eater. It's a misleading nickname, as his diet is more on the insect side. It's just a big spider that has mastered the art of not floating around like a four-legged elephant. Now about its legs. These are not just add-ons. They are like built-in ultra-sensitive vibration sensors. The feet are so attuned to the whispers of the earth that the spider can feel the heart of a fly a few feet away. This concept is quite terrifying. Yet the creature has become a silent predator of the green floor, a master of the art of silent hunting. When hunger strikes, this spider becomes the fast food enthusiast of the spider world with its centimeter long fangs. In the way of eating, it regurgitates his digestive juices into the food, causing it to mold. The next weird scenario is that of a deceptive humpback whale. The animal, more at home on the endless shores of the sea, doesn't swim through the water, but instead floats lifelessly. It serves as an impromptu feast for the local scavengers. This young whale, still a baby by his standards, is somehow the latest and unsettling addition to the Brazilian jungle landscape. It's seen at about 50 feet from the shore, and there are several wild speculations about this scene. But the real story behind this fresh water fish remains as mysterious as a ghost ship, with few answers as a straight plot in a soap opera. Moving in a similar direction is the tale of the deadly poison frog. The creature can fit comfortably on one finger, but it's still deadly. It's quite small and is clothed with bright colors. However, beneath the eye-catcher lies a deadly arsenal. It can be likened to a walking chemical warfare unit. Containing enough poison to waste 20,000 mice, this frog transforms its living skin into a deadly garment as a sensible warning sign, unaffected by screams. It is the ultimate mix of beauty and danger. The frog is a stark reminder that appearances can be fatally deceiving in the great theater of nature. It eats crickets, fruit flies, ants and termites, catching them with its lightning-fast tongue and the most poisonous stings. Yes, amidst the endless dangers of the jungle, 
this frog leaps unscathed, like the epitome of the true animal kingdom. It is a mystery wrapped in yellow and blue colors, a creature both beautiful and deadly. Let's meet the wonder of the Amazon, the basilisk lizard. Often seen as the reptilian answer to the superhero, this tiny creature has abilities that seem to defy the basic laws of physics. First, this lizard doesn't walk on water. It practically races through it, hitting speeds that would make a sprinter jealous. This is due to its light body and disproportionately long toes. A basilisk has developed fine flaps of skin between its toes that open and create enough surface tension to keep it upright, making the water its running track. Scientists spent countless hours watching these lizards and trying to decipher the secrets of their aquatic acrobatics. Behind all its abilities is just an animal adapting to its environment in the most efficient way possible. It's just trying to escape predators or eat its next meal. The more we talk about this seemingly perfect jungle, the more weird the inhabitants and creatures are. Let's dive more into this incredible world. A fish that produces electricity. If you thought poison frogs were nature's sneakiest trick, you're in for a surprise. Let's travel to the world of electric eels. It's the natural version of a hidden electrical trap lurking beneath the surface of the water. The eels look like a long, swinging tube of muscle with a pie-shaped front, and this skin is quite irritable, yet they are living, breathing instruments of electronic mayhem. 80% of their bodies are dedicated to generating electricity, making them the mobile powerhouses of the underwater world. And what is the reason for their shocking abilities? It aims to control the dark, unforgiving waters of the Amazon and turn their surroundings into a terror zone. However, it's not like these eels use their electric shocks just for fun. Inside their long, winding bodies are special electrical organs filled with cells that can withstand any powerful battery. This isn't just for show, as it is necessary for their survival. They rely on it to find their way, hunt for food, and communicate in the thick waters they call home. If the prey is unlucky enough to cross with them, that's the end of it likewise for the predators too. The underwater scene is like a horror movie. Everything is presented in the shadow of one natural wonder. Then let's dive into the world of the turtles. Turtles are known for being cute and slow, but this particular one called Mamatama is something else. To call it unique is an understatement because it's quite strange. Its body is covered in spines and flaps of skin, making it look more like a relic from ancient times than a cute reptile. Imagine an animal that can grow up to a meter long and weigh as much as a large dog, but with the attitude of a pensioner living in the quieter regions of the Amazon. Matamata is an expert at ambush hunting. It blends into the water and looks like a stretch of river, completely still, until the fish makes a fatal mistake. Its neck and head are swollen, flattened, and covered in tubercles, which are warts and ridges. Its mouth is broad and its snout is long. Its eyes are shiny discs, the size of pennies with a hole in the middle, and they sit on either side of the mouth. Although their peculiar appearance may offend some, they appear to offer several adaptive advantages to their environment. These nocturnal reptiles can hold their breath for extended periods, just like many turtles, and they are expertly camouflaged for their murky freshwater habitat. Matamatas have an advantage when it comes to breathing. They can raise their narrow snouts to the surface like built-in snorkels and take a breath of air. This turtle inhales its food on the flyover. Nature seems to hold secrets and presents us with creatures that are both strange and awe-inspiring. So while we admire the unusual, we must not forget the ruthless side of nature. Nature sure holds a jaw-dropping message to our civilized world, and it keeps being unraveled to make us understand the existence of another world without the intervention of civilized men. This leads us to the next fascinating animal in the Amazon River, the adorable pink dolphin. Next up is the pink river dolphin. The Amazon has fascinating species of fish. These creatures are not just scaled-down versions of their ocean cousins. These are the true secrets of nature to be found in the rivers close to home. They are similar to the unicorns of the water world, except they are real and especially pink. These dolphins offer more than just a unique color. They are equipped with facial whiskers that act as a natural solar system. These are brilliant evolutionary adaptations that allow them to hunt in a dark river. And when their colors change, 
They turn from a refreshing grey to a bright pink, a sign of separation through the battles and collisions of life. As their feelings heat up, their lights do too. The most exciting aspect is that these pink giants are not only smart and charming, but also the social creatures of the water world. Unlike the distant creatures we often encounter, these dolphins actively seek out human interaction and understand us better than we understand them. Visitors may arrive looking for adventure, but end up seizing the unique opportunity to swim with these mysterious creatures. Next is the horned animal of the Amazon. These animals are not the different common cats in your backyard, but more of a strange hybrid of a weasel and a cougar, and you have a tiger. A special member of their species is the albino jaguar, an oddity in itself. It has a small ghostly figure among the greens and browns of the jungle. His fur was white as snow, his eyes glowed a fierce red. Unlike the nocturnal life of their larger relatives, these creatures frolic in the sunshine and hunt criminals. This rare creature arrived in Colombia, and it stood out like a sore thumb. As the experts watched him, the decision came quickly. The wild, with all its merciless rules and predators, was no place for such a distinction. So he was taken out of the Cat Witness Protection Program, and it was added to the Conservation Park, his new natural habitat, where he was crowned the country's only albino jaguarundi. His special status is a double-edged sword that marks him as a prodigy and a misfit. This little albino is living the high life far from witnessing the normal course of life like his ancestors. Freed from the harsh controls of natural selection, he became the poster child for rarities, enjoying the safety and predictability of his enclosed paradise. Next, let's talk about geoglyphs. Those large, mysterious designs carved into the ground supposedly spread ancient civilizations, not just any old prints, but massive, supposedly amazing designs. When this secret was revealed, more of these geoglyphs and earthworks hinted at a time when an estimated 500,000 to 1 million souls thrived in the Amazon. Thanks to the wonders of satellite imagery, these clever designs have come to light. These mysterious geoglyphs found in the Amazon shake our outdated traditional views of it. They are shrouded in mystery. They refer to a past in Amazonia, which is far from the primitive desert we imagine. But as we speak, the relentless action of deforestation may erase these clues forever, revealing a rather desperate race against time. Moving forward are the healing treasures of the rainforest. It's called a treasure trove of medical wonders. In the houses in the middle of the green areas, the explorers meet what they call a savior, a lush, overgrown garden that has healing abilities. Next is Ipecac, a natural antibiotic that should fix everything related to the stomach. Picked straight from the heart of the rainforest, but not just a treat for the taste buds, but has been strong in the fight against heart disease. An astonishing quarter of our modern medicines owe a hat tip to Amazon. It's safe to say it only scratches the surface of the so-called infinite pharmacy hidden in the green spaces. The Amazon rainforest is home to a wealth of plants that have been used by indigenous people for centuries for medicinal and spiritual purposes. In the Quechua language, ayahuasca means vine of the soul or vine of the dead. In recent years, the plant has gained worldwide attention for better or for worse as psychedelic drug travelers seek a memorable trip. But the reality of ayahuasca is much closer to this original meaning. For centuries, probably longer, indigenous peoples of the Amazon have steeped and boiled plants for use in sacred rituals. Shamans use ayahuasca to connect their patients to the spiritual world or ancestors and for other medicinal purposes. Chakruna, also known as Psychotria, Viridis contains the hallucinogenic chemical DMT, which mixes with the MAOI antidepressant compound in ayahuasca to form a powerful potion. Today, this combination of ayahuasca and chacruna plants, or similar DMT-containing plants, has reached far beyond the Amazon itself. Various churches and spiritual movements, especially the Church of Santo Daime in Brazil, have spread the psychedelic practice of ayahuasca throughout the world. The use of the plant has sparked controversy and complex legal and cultural questions. Una de Gato's tall vines curl up around tree trunks, with small twisted green spikes under the leaves that give the plant its English name, 
cat's claw. The people of the Amazon use una de gato root as a cure for everything from rheumatic pain to toothaches, deep wounds, and ulcers. Today, una de gato is a popular herbal supplement, and scientists have begun to study the root. So far, they have discovered that the plant can help regulate the immune system, has anti-inflammatory properties, and can even fight viruses or bacteria. One of the traditional uses of una de gato is a little less medicinal, but perhaps just as useful. In the Peruvian Amazon, some consider it an aphrodisiac. Achiote, also called anato, is much more than a tasty ingredient. Indigenous peoples of the Amazon used it for ritual body painting, sunscreen, insect repellent, and more. Some people also use the leaves in a decoction to treat fever or speed up wound healing. Sanipanga is another Amazonian natural dye whose leaves can turn the skin a semi-permanent purple color. Among some indigenous peoples, the plant is also associated with spiritual beliefs. Traditionally, the plant has an antiseptic effect when rubbed into the skin or wounds. It is another of the most important medicinal plants of the Amazon rainforest. Amazonians have long used matico scientifically called Budleya globosa for muscle pains, sore throats, and other common ailments. People often brew the leaves into a tea to help with inflammation, body aches, or coughs. Scientists have confirmed the use of matico by the people of the Amazon and found that it has pain relief and anti-inflammatory properties and can help quickly heal scars or wounds. Cordoncillo is used for many traditional purposes such as disinfecting wounds, treating respiratory diseases, stopping bleeding, and treating gallstones. Since the 19th century, the plant has become known worldwide as a hemostatic agent, to control stop bleeding and as an astringent for cut. Next, let's dive into the heart of the Amazon, the so-called epicenter of the unexplainable. Supposedly captured in 2007 by a wide-eyed 15-year-old full of courage and maybe a little curiosity, this oddity is a real headache. A human figure topped by a skull that wouldn't look out of place in a horror movie with protruding horns. There is lots of speculation and questions about this creature, such as was this so-called horned animal a fugitive from the underworld, a lost creature, or just a figment of the collective imagination, and many more. Surrounded by jungle mist and intrigue, the photo keeps us on our toes. It's like Amazon's very own cliffhanger. Its skull is like gravel, and the use of its huge horns is not known. This forest seems to hold unlimited weird and strange tales and beings. It never seems to end chapter by chapter with shocking discoveries. Next, let's see the so-called world's largest garden. The Sahara's secret gift to the Amazon. It's about a funny story about dust moving from the Sahara to the Amazon. We are to correlate that these two remote places, one a vast desert and the other a lush jungle, share a secret handshake in the air. The dust is not just any old dust. It's supposed to be full of essential nutrients like phosphorus, and it travels across the ocean like a sort of food truck for poor plants in the Amazon. An astonishing 10 to 18.82 million tons of this so-called precious dust makes its annual journey across the world from Africa to South America. This is because the rainforest soil seems to be somewhat poor and constantly losing nutrients as the endless rains wash them away, so the Saharan dust helps replenish those lost nutrients. It's a strange cycle of nutrients created by nature that is supposed to continue. The Sahara Desert is the largest in the world, with 8.5 million square kilometers. This hot desert occupies almost all of North Africa and is constantly increasing. This scarcity of life allows the lushest place on earth to thrive. The phosphorus contained in the sand of the Sahara is a natural and essential element for the growth of the tropical forest. A study shows that 22,000 tons of this fertilizer, the equivalent of 50,000 trailers, are deposited on South American soil every year. But where does this phosphorus come from? Most of the sand that passes through comes from the Baudelaire Depression, the lowest point in Chad. Located in the south-central Sahara, north of Chad, this depression is the result of the drying up of a paleo lake, a lake that occupied the Sahara Desert 10,000 years ago. This basin was full of fish, and their fossilized skeletons are rich in phosphorus. 
It is then the powerful winds that transport this precious fertilizer over 4,800 kilometers before arriving in the largest equatorial forest. This nutrient, which is essential for the development of root systems, is transported by sandstorms rising to the upper atmosphere. The rainy season on the South American continent carries most of the nutrients needed for forest growth to the Amazon River. The Amazon soil is depleted and the supply of phosphorus from the Sahara is important to keep the lungs of the earth healthy. Between 2007 and 2013, NASA conducted a study to demonstrate this close connection between desert and forest. Using their satellites, scientists managed to observe the behavior of this phenomenon and understand how it works. During the dry season, the sand clouds are larger and the amount of phosphorus is higher. In 2020, a cloud called Godzilla was seen. The biggest in 50 years, it's a cloud that traveled from June to September before reaching the Caribbean and northern South America. These clouds not only contain phosphorus. Phosphorus makes up only 0.08% of the 27.7 million tons of sand that enter the Amazon each year. Potassium, calcium and magnesium are also part of the journey. Potassium is a trace element that facilitates photosynthesis and improves plant hardiness. It also strengthens plants against diseases. Calcium affects the function of plant cell walls. This mineral is responsible for creating new plant tissue. Finally, magnesium gives leaves their green color. Without magnesium, the plant cannot grow and bloom well. This weather phenomenon proves that the earth works in a favorable cycle. Everything is connected and everything has a function. So it is important to preserve this ecosystem. Which story is more compelling to you from the video? So you desire to explore the jungle? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. While at it, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more exciting stories.